We're in Wilson, North Carolina for the beta program for the OPTIC certification. No doubt about it, we are learning lessons and understanding what are the students gravitating to, what are they actually applying themselves to, what content works, what content does not work, which labs, hands-on labs, which are really critical to this uh, process, which one of those work and what, are, what is helping us understand what they're gonna need to know when they actually get out into the field. The course is 144 hours and uh, you know, we cover all aspects of the various uh, knowledge and skills needed to become a fiber optic technician. Fiber optic training has been available around the country for a while, but we're finding that the number of technicians that we need to support the, the builds that are going on um, you know, in the U.S. today really to get us wired you know, we, there are just not enough people available. So what we really want to do is take someone, you know, literally from off the street and within, you know, a certain number of weeks, enable them to have a, you know, well-paying fiber optic technician job anywhere in the country. Throughout, we use rubrics, we use generated questions, group work, in order to determine and assess the students and making sure that they're receiving that material. A rubric would be a standard from excellent to needs improvement and the instructors can rate that of the student and then follow back and let them know, hey, this isn't you know, some of your best work. Let's see what we can do to improve that. So it's an assessment that allows the instructor to follow back and make sure that those skills are learned. If you want to use the rubric, uh, we go from very highly qualified people to uh, novices uh, within the industry. So what we want to do is to make sure that we train according to the skill set so that we can bring them along slowly and not, uh, not baptism by fire hose. We want to make sure that they understand what we're teaching, how we're teaching it, and how to use it when they're finished with the classes. We look at fiber optic theory, uh, we look at the fiber optic applications, we spend a lot of time on safety to making sure that everybody is safe when they're doing their deployments. And then from there, we, we head in in a lot of depth into the basic skills that are needed for a fiber optic technician today. A lot of people could be interested in this course, uh, technical or not. Um, if you have the desire to learn something new, um, I think it could go a long way for a lot of people. If you're doing this and you're not taking in new information, you're not getting anything done. Uh, you can do this for 20 or 30 years. I've, I've been in it for roughly 10 years, but I've talked with people who've been in the business 30, 40 years. They learn something new every day, man. As fiber grows around the world, I think we need more experienced technicians, more people to get involved with fiber and learn about fiber and to see how vast this, this field is. It is important for PLP to be a part of the next generation's training for fiber optics. As the field grows and we, we lean back on our customers now to get feedback and how things are working out in the field, we like to join people in the field and see how our products are being used. It's nice to be up front with these guys and expose them to what they'll see and some of that might even relate back to them building our products in the field. We're thinking long term here. We're thinking that this is a generational uh, program and we wanted to make sure that we're showing not only the students our support and the FBA our support, but we want to make sure that we're showing the industry our support. This PLP has been around for 75 years this year, and I think it's, it's very important for us that if we want to stay here for the next 75, that we're going to have to stay in tune, in touch, and promote the FBA optic program.